So in the first trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, we have a scene where Ant-Man and Scott Lang, they're running through some area surrounded by a larger version of himself and a whole bunch of smaller Ant-Men as well. And being the type of person that can't just sit back and enjoy a trailer for what it is, I've had to ask myself, how can he duplicate himself like that? It's not a power we are aware of. Well, I put my math degree to the test. I believe I've found a proof that tells us that Scott Lang being Ant-Man allows him the secret extra ability to duplicate himself at will. Stay till the end. I think this will blow your mind. So we start with Ant-Man and Scott Lang. So, so that I don't have to write out the whole names every time I write in the equation, Ant-Man will be equal to A, Scott Lang will be equal to L. All right, so the only assumption we need to know is Ant-Man is Scott Lang. They're the same. So we have A equals L. Simple enough. So now, when you're doing an equation in math, if you have two sides that are equal, if you do the same thing to both sides of it, the equation stands. It still remains equal. So as long as we do the same thing to both sides of the equation, it should hold up. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to multiply both sides by a. Gives us a squared is equal to a l. Simple enough. Next, we're going to add a l to both sides. So that gives us a squared plus a l is equal to 2AL. All right. Next, we will subtract 2A squared from both sides. So on this side, we have AL minus A squared. So we have 1A squared here. Subtract 2 gives us negative 1A squared. So AL minus A squared is equal to 2AL minus 2A squared. All right. So now we're going to simplify both sides of this. We're going to factor out the a's from both sides, leaving the equation as they are. So al minus a squared, factor out an a, gives us a times l minus a from this side. And over here, we have two a's we can, we can factor out. So we have 2a times l minus a on this side. So two a's here, lose an l. Get rid of two a's here, at least one a left, two a times l minus a. So once again, making the same changes to both sides, we will, we will divide both sides by this l minus a. Doing it here and doing it here. Well, since they're multiplied on the top, multiplied on the bottom, we can cancel this out here and cancel this out over here. And that leaves us with a is equal to 2a. But what is a? a is Ant-Man. So that tells us Ant-Man is equal to 2 Ant-Men. There we have it. This proves that starting with the assumption that Scott Lang is Ant-Man, that's all we need to assume, and that tells us that Ant-Man is equal to two Ant-Man. He can just repeat this process over again, and he can duplicate himself at will. I think the math is pretty clear here. Everything I did in here was valid math concepts, but if you see what actually happened, why this equation worked out this way, let me know in the comments down below. But until then, I think we can assume that Scott Lang has the ability to duplicate himself as Ant-Man. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more theory videos. Some more serious, some less serious. Until next time, thanks for watching.